As the Edge Vigil is online and people are being remembered digitally this year as we kind of come together in person to remember those people that we've lost to, to AIDS, I thought it might be quite nice to remember Derek Jarman from the portrait that we have of his within the collection. In Michael Clark's portrait, he captures Jarman just before his death in 1994. There are many elements of Jarman's life within this work playing out. His iconic status as filmmaker, queer icon, activist, and only a handful of public figures that had come out acknowledging their HIV status. Michael Clark visited Jarman at Dungeness on the Kent coast, a cottage that Jarman had acquired and retired to for the last few years of his life, working in his garden. The elements of which can be seen within Michael Clark's portrait that have actually been taken from Derek Charman's garden. We can see that Michael Clark has also depicted Charman's face with two sides. The side which is still living and still bright and still vivid, and this side which has been erased. It's almost like his public and private persona acting out within the portrait his public persona being so known and so iconic, which is so vivid, and his personal and private uh, persona being removed and taken to Dungeness, away from the spotlight of the public glare. It could also mean that, as John was approaching the end of his life, that his life is slowly slipping away, and thus the unclear depiction of one side of John's face. The outstretched hand underneath the head of Jarman is almost like the acknowledgement of Jarman's iconic status as filmmaker, stage designer, gardener and author. The red on the hand almost depicting the stigmata, almost confirming his iconic status before his death. But also it could be read that the red on his hand is acknowledgement of being nailed to the cross, Jarman's anger at dying of AIDS, being nailed to the cross for being gay. And it could also be read that the blood on the hand is Jarman being nailed to the cross because of his coming out as being HIV positive and dying of AIDS, making that sacrifice to challenge the stigma that society has about the disease, which is something which is still ongoing and which is being challenged today. The Monday of Pride is the vigil, one of the most important days of the big weekend. It's a time when we come together and reflect on the people that we've lost to AIDS over the years. The first work that I'd like to talk about uh, is this wallpaper by General Idea. General Idea were a trio of Canadian artists living in Toronto who were conceptual and media based. They were working together from 1967 until 1994. In 1986, they moved to New York. The American Foundation for AIDS Research was putting together a fundraiser, which included over 25 galleries asking their artists to come together to make work for the fundraiser or to donate work for the fundraiser. General Idea had taken the work by Robert Indiana and adapted it for their own work. That work by Robert Indiana was the Love Painting in the 1960s. What General Idea had done with love was actually change something that was so liberal in the 60s to something quite deadly in the 80s. It's the three artists, A.A. A. Bronson, Felix Parts, and Jorge Zontal, would spend the next seven years working with this image. In 1986, the American government had not publicly said the word AIDS, and as an act of protest and activism, the artists created this work and started to use it in billboards, on trams, carrier bags and in posters and in wallpaper that we can see here. The wallpaper also has a double domestic meaning. Uh, the first domestic meaning meaning that people that are at home with advanced illness of AIDS were spending more and more time and were confined, but also that the domestic also housed healthy people um, who were living with HIV AIDS within the home as well. The repetition of the AIDS design 
also replicates what the virus does to the host cells within the body. And rather than being a wallpaper for the home, it was actually a wallpaper that was designed for public spaces to educate people about AIDS.